Hey Toronto Arrows fans, it's your host Jay Moed and today, just before the Arrows take on Rugby United New York, I have been lucky enough to sit down with the number nine of the team, Ross Brody. Ross, how are you? I'm good, thank you. That's great to hear. So Ross, we have a few questions for the, fan, for the fans to get to know you better and for us to also, you know, just to understand a bit about your personality. So without further ado, let's get into the first two questions. This one's rugby and it's a bit of a soft toss, so it shouldn't be too difficult, but how did you guys feel after you're grabbing your second win against the Seattle Seawolves? We felt great. It was, it was awesome getting a win against the Seattle Seawolves, especially because it's a rival team for us. And I think we needed it as a team and personally for the players as well. I think it lifted our morale between the players a lot. 100%, it's always great to, you know, grab a win against a rival and also does well for the confidence, you know, going into the next week. Uh, so the second question is, we heard and we saw that it was your first try of the season. How did you feel after getting that one? It was awesome getting my first try for the Arrows, um, but credit to the team, that was 100% a team try. I was at the right place in the right time, so credit to the team, but I'm very happy to get my first try. Absolutely, yeah, there was like four or five offloads and then you came running in at the end, got it and then dived in, that was great to see. Now, Ross, are you ready for the fun ones? These, these are some really good questions, hopefully we get to get some fun answers. So the first one is, you know, Ross, you're also from South Africa and your hometown is Pretoria. What does a fun day in a Pretoria look like for Ross Brody? I think a fun day for me would be getting out with my friends on the golf course, play some golf afterwards with a barbecue, just with the friends and so, and then there's a lot of live music in Pretoria as, a, as well, so we'd always get out to something like that. So that's basically a fun day for me. Nice. And so I've been seeing that you guys have also been playing a bit of golf while you've been down there in the US. Have you had a chance to get on, on the course with the guys? Yes, I think I've got out twice on the course, so yeah, it's been good. Nice. And who do you think right now is the best golfer amongst you guys in, in the Arrows team? I'd say Cole Keith at the moment is the best that I've played with. Nice. Would you say that you're the best in the backs? Uh, yes, I think I, I think I can be one of the better golfers in the back line. <laughs> nice, nice. And uh, now we've heard that one of your favorite TV shows uh, is the Trailer Park Boys. So my question is, out of the three characters, Bubbles, Ricky, and Julian, who's your favorite and who do you think would be a great time to spend a day with? <laughs> Definitely Ricky. Um, uh, I think it would be fun spending a day with him. I wouldn't ask him to do anything or put any responsibility on him because he <laughs> won't be able to handle that. But uh, yeah, sure. I just laugh at him. Yeah. Very it's great guy. to hear. Well, thank you so much, Ross, for joining us. Uh, we wish you the best of luck against New York today. Thank you so much, Arrows fans, for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.